Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Axis forces in the first week of January 1941. Uh, the, the, the Allied forces are pushing back. Yes, we got them down to one blue square at the top with the tonnage bar, but um, they're fighting back now uh, with a vengeance and they're really starting to put some uh, pressure on us. We lost the Admiral Graf's Bay, of course, but um, we did manage to take out the Rodney and the heavy cruiser as well. So, um, all is not lost. And of course, the aircraft carrier. We took out an aircraft carrier last time. So we are, we certainly are, you know, punching above our weight and uh, certainly giving as good as we're getting. Once again, thank you for, very much for all the support that you still offer this series. I'm glad you're still enjoying it. As always, hit that thumbs up, share on social media. And uh, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe bell. Um, and we will get going. Right, I think we... What did we do last time? Um, we got the Gneisenau's task group into port to do some repairs. And when the Karlsruhe, the light cruiser, we moved up to them and put them in for rearmament. So they're there as well. Over here we have uh, the Scharnhorst group. Uh, a bit of light damage on the destroyer. Um, but they're just going to sort of hang in the western approaches for the moment. Until the Gneisenau comes out and then she can maybe go into port for a refit. And down here in the South Atlantic, we've got the, the Bismarck and the Tirpitz group, which are doing great. Um, so we're going to sit them off Dakar for a bit and see what happens. Right, so let's uh, press on. Eastern Mediterranean Sea. Axis bombers attack a naval base at Alexandria, causing light damage. Current repairs delayed by two turns. Okay. Not much to report. We have a ship pop out. It is the destroyer. Z23. Okay, she's fine. Did we... Let me just... Yeah, we are up to a full fleet capacity. That's fine. Uh, we got U-boats down here. Uh, we got U30. I'm going to move you into the western approaches. And then U40. You can start making your way. If you come down here, will you go into the... Yes, you can. You can go into the uh, pens at Lorient for repairs and rearmament. Excellent. Excellent, and we still keep our coverage up around there. We're a bit light around the uh, United Kingdom. We've got a U-boat, U-65 up here. Let's bring you down here as well. Um, yeah, that's grand. Not much happening. Um, actually, I'm going to move them slightly away from the coast to sit there. Actually, I probably should have stayed, let them stay there because that's where the, the ships are. We probably need to start looking at shipping in this area as well. Uh, maybe we'll you move one of these U-boats down here just to kind of patrol down there. Well, okay, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, press on to week 1.5. Shoo, shoot me backwards. Right, the SS U-boats, uh, U-44 and U-64 have come across a huge convoy with the battleship Duke of York as the lead and destroyer Greyhound as further escort. Holy moly! Let's have a look see then. So here they are. They're heading directly for U64 by the looks of things. So that must be the Duke of York. Oh the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. It's a little tune we have about the Duke of York. Don't know why. He obviously marched his men up and down a hill. <laughs> and, it, and, and it would stayed in infamy, apparently. Right, so there is the Duke of York. Look at her. What a formidable looking ship she is. Um, and is that the Greyhound in front? Yeah, it's the Greyhound in front. Right, okay. Brill, let's come back to U44, I'm guessing. So let's uh, turn to starboard, and you go flank speed because they're behind them, so they won't be able to hear you. Um, you for how far are you away from there? You're eight thousand meters now. You're too far. Do we have any air patrols? No. Okay. In that case, full stop. Dive. Right. U sixty six, sixty four. Sorry. I just want her literally to wait there until the battleship comes up. She's in a beautiful position. No, don't do anything. Just just sit there. Ow. Oh, have they detected us? Maybe not. Maybe they're just doing 
you know, standard maneuvers. But what I will do then, I'll turn to starboard and I'll go to two thirds speed. Oh, they're doing jiggery pokery. Okay, continue move forward. We'll, uh, we'll go down to one third. Ooh. Okay, they're probably going to zigzag all the way through now, which is fine. We just got to be a little bit patient here. Let's start to see the wake now. Obviously, the destroyer is the destroyer. Not terribly worried about that. Obviously, the Duke of York is the main prize here. Uh, let's not be kidding ourselves. That is the only prize here. Yes, it would be great if we would, could sink the destroyer as well and then finish off the rest of the convoy, but if we can take out a capital ship, then we can take out a capital ship and we'll have all the tea and medals we could ever possibly want. Right, let's go hard to port. Get back on a kind of nice... She's gone straight again. Uh, you continue forward. Full stop here. Yeah, happy with that. Don't want to get too close. This poor little just charging behind them. Right. Uh, maybe turn slightly to port. Perfect. She's only got her momentum now from stopping her engines. So the destroyer is passed and she has not detected us. Which is excellent. So we want to check our distance. How far are we from that? 1500 meters. That's okay. I don't want to get too close, otherwise, you know, the torpedoes may not work particularly well. She's just sitting there. Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Keep plowing on. They have no idea. Right. Oh, a couple more turns, I think. And then she'll be dead on. And we'll do a launch a full salvo. Hello, sunshine. Oh, she's only got two torpedoes. Oh, for the love of goodness me. That's not good. Right. Okay, we will launch two torpedoes. That's it. We'll put them under the guns as well. Fire. It's not exactly a full spread, is it? Types. Yipes. Right, we definitely need to uh, duck her a little bit. Right, you can continue moving forward. Right, U64, uh, you're going to be diving and come to full speed and we will go full to port. Get those engines a revving. Excellent. What, the, what I'm trying to do now is, well, she, as the Duke of York turns, if we turn as well, we may be able to get our starboard tubes um, bearing down on her. Starboard? Her, um, her rear tubes. Sorry. Stern is the word I was looking for. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Ah, uh, not too much. Two hits. She's not terribly fluffed about that. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, you come full to starboard. Yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? We were hoping we'd get uh, at least four torpedo hits away at her, but we only got only had two apparently. 
Need to keep an eye on the um, ship replenishment. Right, keep turning. That destroyer will be coming in to pay us a visit anytime soon. So we have to watch out for a bit of depth charging, but for the moment. How far is she? Uh, oh, she's too far, too far. To launch anything. Um, yes, she's going to be gone before we turn. No action this time. Phew. Ah, now there is a ship getting in the way of the Duke of York. Oh, not really. I was hoping she would get in the way and the Duke of York would have to stop, which may give us a chance. Where's the destroyer? The destroyer's right overhead. Crikey. Let's dive again. We may have to say goodbye to the Duke of York. We may not get her this time, but I want to save the boat as well. No action this time. Eep. Right. Um, I've got to keep turning now. There we go, that's a bit, a bit better of a turn. We could probably start to duck up and maybe, if she hasn't got too far away, have a couple of pot shots. So you depth charge? Yep, depth charges. In the water. Oh, oh. Seems okay for the moment. She's okay. She's okay. Right. There's the battleship. So turn and we will come shallower. She's got two rear torpedoes, which will be fine. Um, we can't fire at this depth so it's pointless but next time depth charges in the water oh no close too close keep charging in u44 Doing a grand job. Right. Against all natural instincts, we're going to go to periscope depth. Target the uh, Duke of York. She is 4,867 miles. Uh, miles. <laughs> ah, it's been a long day. Uh, right. Um, 191.8. 191.8 will be... There. Loss. Loss. Fire. Two torpedoes away. We'll now dive down. And U66 can get out of the area. The ship may well dodge them. We never know. But we've had the. Ooh, there's the post trip right there. Yeah, she's going to have to die for a couple of turns now. Just disengage, I think. She's done her bit. Looking good. Right, meanwhile, U44, you may yet have a, a tale to tell in this engagement. Um, where is the destroyer? Right, you, you turn to port and dive. She's going starboard, so then she'll have to, yeah. Looks good. Looks good for some torpedo hits. Stand by. That's two olds on each side of the ship now. 
So she's a nice even flooding. <laughs> and U44 is getting herself into a nice position. Potentially. A U66. Dive, dive, dive. All a bit of damage there. Don't go too deep unless the, the hole gives away. Don't be looking underwater all the time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Keep going forward. How far away is she? Six out. Oh, my goodness. She's coming straight to U44 now. Uh, U64, you disengage. You've done brilliantly. Four holes in the battleship already. Right. Move forward. Now. She... 5,000 meters. She's definitely looking a little bit heavy, isn't she? Her A turret is uh, damaged. Definitely sitting a little bit lower in the water. Um, okay. I'll go one more go. And then uh, we'll fire next time. Otherwise, I think she'll be starting to pull away from us. Right. Yeah. Yeah, She's. I think she's starting to pull away from us. So we need to launch a salvo now. Otherwise, she'll be out of our range for good. Right. Estimated torpedo, torpedo, torpedo? torpedo solution of 9.4. there so we'll then just in case she turns inside we'll launch one there we'll launch one there and we'll launch one there fire she's definitely listening Oh, it's so close. Where's the destroyer? There she is. Right. Where are we? Right. Let's turn starboard. So if the destroyer comes for us, we can um, use our stern tubes. Yes, we're going to get some hits. We may not got full complement, but at least three hits I see incoming. All four hit. Nice. Nice, that's got to be a concern. Yes, look. Oh, 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 oh. Is she going? She's... She's she's rolling. She's rolling. No. No. Oh, I think she's going. Propulsion and the pumps have been damaged. Oh, I think this is her. She's, I think she's done. Look, she's she's almost over the... She's almost over. I don't think she's going to... Yes, that turret is now underwater. Well, it's not anymore, but when the waves... Yeah, maybe she's just about holding it. I was going to be excited there. She's definitely gone. Oh, look, I don't know why, quite why that's exploded. Maybe we hit a shell underneath and the magazine exploded through the uh, through the roof. Oh, look, there's a little the guys are underwater now. It ain't long now. Right, um, continue to turn to starboard. Just in case that destroyer wants to come and play. Oh, I wouldn't be turning that way. <laughs> I'm going to capsize it that way. You need to press torpedoes reloaded. Excellent. Or a torpedo reloaded. Ooh. 
well, maybe if we turn the port slightly. How far away is she? 5,000. Well, we might as well try and finish her off. Uh, torpedo solution of 357.3. Getting there ever so slowly. There we go. Plus. This might be the, the final straw. Oh, they're, they're counter-steering the, uh, the capsizing, or the listing side. Oh, that's probably too much now, isn't it? Is that enough? Are you going to throw in the towel? Turrets are damaged, pumps or oh, propulsion she's got back working. Ah, okay. The destroyer's coming in, so uh, let's beat a course off. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. Hopefully these are just last throws, wild, loose firing. Alice, before she come, succumbs to the inevitable. Uh, let's dive down a level. There's no reason to be up here. Oh, torpedo reloaded. Lumin heck. Fine. Well, we might use that next time. Those destroyer boys are thinking, oh my word. We had one job. How are we going to explain this one to them? Right. Target. Oops. Uh, let's get torpedoes up first. And let's target the uh, the Duke of York. 10.4. Oh, it's just basically fire blind. So we'll fire under the um, we'll fire under the the funnel. Obviously, we expect that to be where the furnaces are and the boiler rooms and all the kind of hot, explodey stuff. Just getting close. Hopefully, this will finish her off, though. Torpedoes in the water. How many torpedoes she taken now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it seven or is it? Hang on. We fired two at her, and we hit her twice. We then fired another two at, then we from the stern tube of E sixty seven, so it hit her twice again. So that's four. Then four. This is going to be eight, eight torpedoes she's taken so far. Propulsion is now damaged again. She's still hanging in there, though. Um, come to starboard. Oh, not far enough. Okay, it's a bit of a bit of a bother. I thought we'd have a better solution at firing at the destroyer. We're there. Though so that's a little bit wide, but still probably may have caused some um, impact. Well, sort of reverberation damage. Let's spin to starboard. Torpedoes reloaded. Typical. Oh, we can still get one away. Excellent. Is it just fire? Fire, fire where you will. Fire where you will. Fire. Uh, she can't get us with her guns now. She can't get the elevation. Torpedo number nine or eight, maybe. Oh, there she goes. There she finally goes. No longer can she just hang on. 
crikey. No, 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 don't go away from that. Let's, let's have a look at the Grand Old Duke of York. Wow. Wow. That is one victory. Right. U44, you may just go down in history in a second. Right, we've got two stern torpedoes targeting the Greyhound. Torpedo 216.6. .6. Right. Point blank range. Fire both. Fire. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! In literally seconds, that convoy escort has been obliterated. And they'll be singing the songs with about U44 who actually got the kills, but U64 also did a tremendous amount to the damage of the Duke of York. Let's sink the merchants and withdraw. Wow! The battleship Duke of York has been sunk for 38,000 warship tons. The destroyer Greyhound for 1,800 tons. A C3 freighter for 8,000. A large freighter for 7,800. C3 freighter for 8,000. Large freighter for 8,700. C2 freighter for 5,500. And a T2 tanker for 22.5 thousand tons. Uh, 22 and a half thousand tons. Yeah, that's right. Um, warship tonnage then from that engagement 39,800. Merchant tonnage, 60,500. With a bit of light damage to U-64. Take that. I will take that. I'll bite your hand off for that. United Kingdom. Axis bombers attack the naval bases at Liverpool and Portsmouth, causing medium damage. Current repairs are delayed by three turns. Wow. Wow. U-64, you're, you're out of torps, aren't you? Uh, U44 has only got two torpedoes left. Okay, both of them need to go for rearmament. So where are the... We've got some... Obviously, I think, I think to go here, to go to Lorient, I suppose, and get... But we've also got... Oh, yeah, they might as well go to the Bay of Biscay, and um, both of you head over here, and you can go into port and get some well-earned uh, shore leave, and we'll get the ships repaired and ready for you. Um... Well, how are these ships? We've got 22 torpedoes and 14 torpedoes. So, um, U31, you come here just to cover that for a moment. We've got two, torpe two, two torpedoes, two submarines over here, one with 11 torpedoes, one with 14. I may move U29 this way. Try and get, because, you know, it's all about trying to intercept them as they come off, you know, Boston and New York and Halifax and all that kind of jazz. But if we get them, they, sort of, they have to funnel neck here, don't they? So if, they, if we come here... Well, they have to funnel neck or bottleneck. Um, we should be good and groovy. I may well also bring these boys up to play. And I'll move you 43 there. Excellent. We have the Karlsruhe and two destroyers have come out of port, ready to go. Um, they can stay there for the moment. Oh, oh, look at that. Tonnage has gone back down to one blue square. Happy days. Let's uh, press on. East Sargosa Sea. Allied convoy attacks by warships. 97,550 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Happy days. East Mediterranean Sea. Axis bombers attack naval bases at Alexandria, causing he very heavy damage. Current repairs delayed by five turns. And the old allies do not seem to be sending anything out towards us. Right, these two, have they been reloaded? They have indeed. Right, U40 and U44 are back in service. So U40, you go over there. And U44, you... You head down there for a second. Good, we'll start the rotation of ships. We've got the blue shirt has come out of um, port as well. Once they all come out, yeah, we'll swap them over and um, Sharnhorst and her guys can uh, move on. I might move you there, just to, just to move you about a bit, to see if they can catch anyone out. Nice! Let's move on! 
East Sargosa Sea. Ally, uh, allied convoy attacks by warships. 90, uh, 89,920 tons of merchant super Sorry, I was, watching, I was looking at the picture in the background. Stunning, isn't it? Nice. Oh, still not much happening. They're um, they're really licking their wounds after that one. Got the uh, Nuremberg's come out of the uh, docks there. Who are we waiting for? Just the guys now with another four turns. Okay. Well, what we could do, of course, is swap them over with the Shan horse, take those, and go 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 a hunting, and these guys can go back in. But let's keep the, let's keep them as they are. Um, how are we doing? We've got another U64 has come off her uh, dock. Uh, surely even come back out into patrol. We'll move you up here. No, we won't. We'll actually select you and then move you up here. So we've got U30 as well. Let's have these. they got 14 torpedoes. and Oh, they're looking absolutely fine. Over here, you... I moved U103 when I didn't mean to, but hey-ho. Um... Shell wise, they're all looking pretty good. And the torpedoes for the subs are looking mighty fine too. Let's just deselect them before I start moving them around the map randomly. They're okay. The, uh, these two are. Oh, U37 has got a bit of damage. Yeah, they could probably. Well, for the moment, I'll tell you what. Uh, U29, you come down here to reload. There's a reloading ship there, and uh, then we'll swap them over. Happy days. West North Atlantic, Allied convoy attacks by submarines. 37,620 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. And the east side goes to sea, uh, Allied convoy attacks by warships. 88,990 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Oh, it's all red. It's all red. Right, these guys should be reloaded now, are they? What is this? It's type 7. Can they only take 14? I think that's right, isn't it? They're going to take 14. So, um, you head up there. And U37, you come down there for uh, reload as well. We might try and swap these 37 over, actually. Let's get uh, U44. After all your heroics, you come out here and we'll swap those two over. Still waiting for the guys now to come out of port. Um, yeah, the side goes to see where we're making all that tonnage is where the uh, the Bismarck and the Turbits are. Beautiful. Oh! And we have some action on the western approaches. Uh, enemy ships at night, led by a corvette. Alisma. We have uh, a reasonably good sized uh, convoy there with tankers and freighters and all sorts. U64 and U65. Fresh from the initiative. Uh, fresh from the initiative. Fresh from their adventures. Uh, and we have the initiative, which is good to see. Right. Can't see a bloody thing. Mind. Uh, there's U64. Are we ahead? I think we're ahead of them, aren't we? Hang on. Yep, they're coming for us. Right, where's this Corvette then? There she is. Right, you swing to starboard. Do we have any... Nope, we don't have anything in the, in the way of uh, aircraft. There's the Corvette. Okay, so U-65. How far are you away from these? 5,000, 4,000. Well, we might as well have a couple of pops. Certainly get the attention of the guys. Um, torpedo solution of 20.8. Boop. Twenty-seven. Are oh, that at twenty-seven? Uh, at twenty-seven, not twenty-eight. Hang on. Oh, twenty-seven one. Boop. That'll get the uh, attention of the Corvette for sure. Oh, she already detected something, maybe. I'm 
hoping the other torpedo will just miss her and go for the ship behind her. That was the plan anyway. Right, you continue to move slightly to starboard because you hopefully are going to finish that corvette off. And you just press in the attack. Uh, is this... Uh, she is listing a little bit. Not really as much damage as I thought that would cause. Um, this one here is 60... Or 6,700. Uh, 6, uh, 359. 0.7. So we'll launch that one there. I might launch another one at this one because it... That doesn't seem to have given a damn about that hit. 18.5, there we go. Boop. We'll probably get them rearmed re after this uh, engagement. Having said that, U64 has just come out of port, hasn't she? Nice. I, I heard the other. Whoa. Okay, that one finished that one off. Continue forward. That one's gone. Right, how far are we from this Corvette? Eight thousand. No, 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 not good. Continue to move. We don't have anything else to fire at the moment. Just got her. If we can't, then we might have a shot of the tanker and a couple of other freighters, and if the freighters go down, we'll just leave the Corvette. There's not much in the way of tonnage for a Corvette, so... Uh, not terribly worried. It'd be nice to take the Corvette out so we can obviously finish the ships off. In fact, you know what, I'm going to stop here. I'll stop. And then when these come up, we've got some nice... We're right in the middle for a lovely shot, front and aft. And we'll try and pursue them with U-65. Hmm, they're kind of... Hopefully they're just zigzagging and then they'll sort straighten themselves out in a second otherwise that could be problematic yes it's far from ideal um, oh sorry none there and then we'll select Can we... Oh, we can select that one. Okay, nice. Um, 4,000 meters. Torpedo of 288.5. I've got no torpedoes. Where does the rear one kick in? There. Right, we need to... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. We need to do a bit of maneuvering to get that ship in a better position. Torpedoes reloaded. How far away are them? 10,000, okay. She's too far gone at the moment. Right. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's spin to port. Get going. No torpedoes reloaded yet. You continue forward. Hopefully we'll have a torpedo loaded this time. Continue to turn hard. Still no torpedo loaded. Are you having a giraffe? Okay. Getting a little bit concerned about that ship coming directly for us. We may need to dive down a wee bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Still no torpedo reloader. Oh, come on. How many turns does it take to load, reload a torpedo, for heaven's sake? Oh, this one's a reloaded torpedo. We know U-64 has got torpedoes. They've just come out of port. Uh, yeah, okay. You're going to have to dive, my friend. But you keep turning. Torpedo reloaded now. You watch. No. Bizarre. Move them on. Where is this Corvette now? She seems miles away from <laughs> anything, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, okay, she's directly above us. Um, turn hard. You are uh, you're behind the game now, really. Right, come up to uh, surface, well, periscope depth. Still no torpedoes loaded, why not? Oh, there are, there are four. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> okay. Um, <let's laughs> the crew are probably going, we've done it ages ago, man. Come on, calm down. Right, uh, torpedo solution of 316. Ah, uh, 0.3. Uh, really? They're only 2,700 meters away. Okay. I'll, I'll loose one there. Obviously, this one behind us is far too um, close to uh, far rearward. Um, let's have a look see. Uh, 10.6 Can we get that one in? No Okay, we'll, we'll fire there And see how that goes You can just continue to climb in They've got another torpedo reloaded I must have just missed when they reloaded those torpedoes, but never mind, it's good fun. Ooh, there you go, large freight is down, this one's damaged. Happy days. Right, you continue to uh, move forward. That's 600 meters, that's well too close, I think. Yeah, 1,000 meters. Thousand was it feet? I don't know, but yeah, it needs it needs a little bit more room to wiggle before. Oh, hello! Got a turn out to port. We've got a Corvette on us. Boom, boom, boom! They were both sinking. Lovely. So we just got these two now. Um, forward. What's our distance? 1,021! Lovely! We can have a shot at the tanker. Now, tankers are big, so we're going to put both torpedoes. Um, sh shove one under the uh, under the funnel. Boop! And we'll shove one under the bridge. Well, more or less. Boop! Fire. I think one of them failed to arm it. I think it quickly said. But... Where are they? Oh, there they are. Burning away brightly. Um, you continue to turn. You can just dance with her if you like. Just stay out of her way and um, hopefully we can finish this one off. Torpedo reloaded. I bet that's in the front, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Um, She's turning away. Lovely. We don't have any rear torpedoes. Uh, 
parts that fit and they'll load the, the front torpedoes before they load the rear ones but um Creaking in distress metal, what a lovely sound that is. Torpedoes reloaded. Is it a rearward one? Yes, it is! Hallelujah. 186 is the... The debris. The solution. Uh, 182, there you go. Fire! Keep dodging. I could just dive her down, but it's keeping the attention of the Corvette. And while she's not actually doing anything, then it's fine. There we go. Nice hit. If she goes a weaker plunk and boom, then uh, happy days. Let's have a look in front of us to make sure we're not going to run into a wreck. No, we're okay. Torpedo reloaded. It's not. She's gone. She's gone. Happy days. So then all that's left is the Corvette. Um, can we... Uh, nope. <laughs> Let's dive away then. Oh, I can't. We'll just have to do nothing this time. Dive away, boys. We're going to just dive away and escape. We've done exactly what we wanted to do. We sunk all the freighters. And we'll just leave the little Corvette to uh, go home tail between her legs and have to explain that one to high command. Don't envy them. It's going to be a tough day. Dive away. U-64 is disengaging. And we'll disengage U-65. Brilliant! So, look at that. Both U-boats unscathed. Obviously, the fire number of torpedoes, but the convoy has been destroyed, just leaving the little pointless Corvette sitting there. Uh, all been sunk. There's the breakdown for 60,700 merchant tons. Not bad at all. The Azor Islands. Allied convoys attacked by submarines. 49,150 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. And the East Side goes to sea. This is where the battleships, Tirpitz and Bismarck are. Allied convoy attacked by warships. 96,040 tons of merchant shipping sunk. Canary Islands. Allied convoy attacks by submarines. 46,160 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. That is a bad time for those boys. Who do we got here? Oh, that, that must be the Corvette. Brilliant. We're absolutely obliterating the merchant tonnage at the moment. It's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. Uh, we're going to leave it there for this time. Thank you ever so much. We've got another big name this time, the Duke of York. So come to our insufferable force. Insufferable force? Probably not the right word, but there we go. Um, we're going to leave it there. Thank you ever so much for your support. As always, hit the thumbs up. Hit that share button and share on social media and if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe bell so you can get all the latest videos when they release right all there is to say is thank you ever so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it or taken some enjoyment from this and i will see you next time for more adventures in atlantic fleet i'll see you then